so there we are. There's Biggie. So he doesn't doesn't look too worse for wear after his uh, his trip flying up the back of shower the other day. I can't quite put my finger on it, but they just don't seem to be as I don't know as hungry as uh, as placid. You know, it just feels like there's just something not quite right. Now you know I treated four flukes weeks and weeks and weeks ago and then uh, after that I had um, Chilodinella so I treated for that as well uh, and to be honest with you the scrapes after that were all clean so didn't do a second treatment, thought everything was hunky dory Look at that beauty um, but they're not as quick to come up either like normally I'm hanging over the side here and uh, Lancelot in particular would normally be uh, you know right up here with his face out the water trying to to get something Ghost looks absolutely fine. I can't see anything wrong with him A little bit of a backstory on Ghost and I don't know whether you'll if he turns around the other way You might just see it on the uh, front row of his peck um, He actually broke that and that was my first that that peck there I Don't know whether you'll even see Anything but that was my first uh, go at uh, pull pop surgery. So I had him on the operating table, put his bone back together, glued it and put a stitch in it. But anyway, he's doing fine now. The gosh, he's uh, beautiful as always. As is my uh, Tanshao Sankey. Shiro Tsuri there, that's the one uh, I had from Lee Hadfield, which I'm um, still absolutely mega pleased with. And the Achiba there, I keep mentioning where I get all these coming from, just, you know, the Achiba's from Roy Walker. Roy Walker? <laughs> There's a blast from the past. Rob Walker. <laughs> Walker Coy. Roy Walker. Love now. Oh yeah, he's, uh, no, see Lancelot was coming then, and then he's decided to turn away at the last minute. I can't see any ridiculous activity. There's no major flicking or anything like that. They just, I don't know, I can't put my finger on it. So what I've decided to do is, I'll do some random scrapes. I'm gonna try and get cowfish out down the bottom. So, I mean, to me, she's um, egg bound. I've been watching her for a bit now. I'm not sure how well she's gonna reabsorb them or whether I'm gonna to have to give her a, a helping hand. But we'll, uh, if I get her out, it's one of the ones I get out. The um, monster, shower that I had from Lee Hatfield there's absolutely no way of me getting that out because that is like an absolute good missile once you put the net in the pond you've never seen anything so fast so it's going to be a lottery what I get out hello mate you all right you're all right aren't you so he was carrying quite a lot of, I say he I've got no idea whether he's or she's uh, the height surgery is carrying quite a lot of mucus on its head, which as you've uh, hopefully you will be just seen when he comes close, that that's, uh, that's gone now. So, again, I'm still, I'm still trying to convince myself here whether I'm going to do more harm than good actually getting them out and netting them. I can't even see where big his scales have gone from there, the ones that uh, he knocked off when he hit the back of shower. Yeah, this is just going to turn into a, a coy appreciation <laughs> video, but I am going to, uh, yeah, I am going to get some out and scrape. It will be a lottery which ones they are, but um, I'll see if Claire's free and uh, she can come and do a bit of filming. But visual inspection on them all is that they're, uh, you know, they're absolutely fine. Right, I'm going to stop, uh, stop looking at them now and I'll uh, spring into action. So, got the floating bowl out. And apologies if you can hear noise in the background, music. It's uh, the neighbour thinks he's uh, a world class DJ. But anyway, got my floating basket out, got my scrape card out. I'll just uh, show you my setup in the uh, shed, ready for the uh, scrapes. And again, apologies. That's my, uh, oops, 
That's my little setup. Let me just turn you around. So I tried to do a bit of filming in the uh, shed, but uh, unfortunately the radio is too loud and uh, it's going to get copyrighted and all sorts of things. I'm not even sure whether you'll be picking it up on this video basically, so I might not even be able to put this one out, but uh, anyway, we'll see. Just giving the pond an inspection to be honest as well, uh, just uh, looking at the floor, looking at the uh, bottom drain, just checking everything's tight, looking at the backy shower. See, they are slowly starting to come up, aren't they? I'm sure Biggie Small's lopsided now after his little uh, bash. He might be bruised up one side. I can see the underside. Yeah, that's where he must have come down. I can see the underside by his pec fin. If I can get him out, I think I'm going to have to have a look at that because that might need a bit of a uh, bit of attention. Right, I am. Uh, I'm going to start netting now. So, come back to you in a bit. So we've got cowfish in the bowl, that was a fairly easy capture, uh, it's not looking too bad as I say it's just the shape, It's uh, I think she's egg bound, but we did just uh, just do a bit of a measure didn't we, what did we say? About 52 something like that, so I'm gonna, I've done a scrape on this one, I've just put it on the slide so I'm going to let her uh, go back. Uh, where she's caught aside. Okay, then we'll try and get somebody else out. So there's Biggie Small. That was a bit, bit of a harder catch. It's a powerful beast. So this is uh, 55 centimetres. Um, and I'm just going to do a scrape and then quickly get him uh, back in the water. Him, her, it. One more down. One more. Yeah, I'm not getting anything. Come on. Be good. There we go. Oh, now I'm soaked. And just have a look at the underside where she come down on the. Yeah. That's where she came down on the back of shell. Look. I'm just going to leave it. And uh, see how she gets on. I'll just keep an eye on it. The scales have got to recover. So floating baskets, if you haven't got one, absolutely invaluable. Much better than trying to mess about getting them actually physically out and socking them and putting them in a basket out the side. I find that much, much, much easier. So I'm going to uh, take the scrapes. I'm going to have a look at my slides and I'll come back to you if I find anything. Right then folks, um, I've just spent a good hour looking at uh, four slides, going through millimetre by millimetre on 200, 400 and I don't know, 1000 magnification. There is nothing moving on those slides, so I don't know whether to be happy. And there's the drum again, thank you. I don't know whether to be happy because I've found nothing. Um, or, happy, or unhappy because if I'd have found something obviously I could have treated so I am just going to have to um, leave it for a bit basically keep an eye on the fish uh, watch what's happening I'm going to give them a dose with um, Fish Protect again something I normally put in after any water changes or after treatments and stuff so I'll give them a, a good dose of that and then I'll uh, just, just see how they are basically so I'll pop back to you later